Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with my ice cream box for November, and so I thought I'd get started with what I have on today. And so I started with the Revolution Skin Silk in F2. I mixed in some of the Milani uh, Bronzing Drops in 110, and I added in a little bit of the ColourPop Liquid Lights as well. So that's what I mixed to go ahead and get my base today. As far as what I did for the bronzer and the blush, I did go ahead and get out the NYX Buttermilk Face Palette. There are two of these that came out for the holidays, and this is the lighter one. Um, it has two blushes and one bronzer, and I did use a bronzer and this blush. And if you hear somebody in the background, that's my dog who just came uh, tearing in. So yeah, I do have these two on today as far as my blush. Um, I did go ahead and get out the NYX Sandworms and that's what I'm using as far as my lip gloss and this butter lip gloss. And then as far as what I went ahead and did on the, um, well, I went ahead and used Icicle Spree, which is a highlighter from ColourPop, and this one has purple, orange, and pink in it, and it comes off pretty pink, so that's what I have on my cheek as far as the highlighter today, and then as far as what I have on the eyes, I did oh, have all sorts of fuzzies today. I also broke an eyeshadow before I started this particular video, so yeah, I'm a little bit discombobulated right now. Um, but I do have the Frosty the Snowman on, and what I did was I gone ahead and gotten uh, the... These are from Stranger Things collection, and they're the... Um, multi-chrome eyeshadows and so I did go ahead and use the pink one right on the lid and um, it has a pink green kind of flip to it and then what else I did was I went ahead and used the frosty palette I used this in the outer corner and then this one on the inner corner from here to here and I think that's all that I oh I used a little bit of this one uh, right over the top and I think I'll go ahead and use some more yeah right under the brow so this is that multi-chrome shade and I'm using a little bit of it under the brow and a little bit of this white shade as well whoa got a little bit much there huh So, yeah, that added in quite a lot. I wasn't planning to add in that much, but it did. So, here's the way that the eye look came out. So, I think by going ahead and adding in this pink shade, the multi-chrome, it just gave it a little bit more depth than it would um, have otherwise and gave it a little bit more going on around the lid. And a really fun palette by ColourPop. It's their holiday palette. We definitely suggest picking it up. Actually, both of these are. So uh, the NYX palette and um, the Frosty palette are uh, both holiday palettes. Would definitely suggest going ahead and picking them up. And then as far as getting over to my ice cream palette today, um, and I got my ice cream box. It actually came in a, uh, yeah, a bag this time. I think the palette was too big to go ahead and uh, fit in there. Now, this month came out to be a little bit different for me because I do have both the palettes. And so I picked up Jingle Bell Ruby um, from Dee Dee's Signature. And Dee Dee's Signature you can find on, uh, they have a whole website. I don't know if they're Etsy anymore, but they definitely have a whole website. So this is the palette that I had already picked up. And I picked it up, I think, uh, right around this time last year. Um, so I had already had this palette, and you got your choice of two palettes. So since I already had Jingle Bell Ruby, I went ahead and got the other one, which is uh, the autumn one. 
and um, I was really glad that they had this one because I've been wanting to pick up more from her anyway. And uh, she also has a uh, new palette coming out for Black Friday as well that looks really, really good. Um, but like I said, since I already had Jingle Bell Ruby, I went ahead and got um, the Classic Autumn palette. And so this is what the Classic Autumn palette looks like. And um, I think it's just, I'll be doing some swatches from both this and Jingle Bell Ruby, but I wanted to go ahead and um, unpack the rest of the box, or in my case, the, um, uh, the envelope. Um, so we'll be doing swatches in just a second, but I wanted to see what else was in here. And so this was Bow Babe Beauty. And I think this is a chocolate bronze eyeshadow. So, just try to get into this here. Ah. Didn't bring my scissors. Didn't bring the scissors over here. So, having to go ahead and oh, that's pretty. Okay, you can open letters with it if you you know multi-purpose kind of thing going on. But they said chocolate bronze, so. Okay. So this is the way that it swatches. Yeah. And it's a just pretty brown color. There we go, that's a better swatch. So yeah, it definitely has some sheen to it. So um, really pretty little pot here of eyeliner and so yeah that's really cute um, <coughs> for me so um, let's see the next product in here is lash step and so this was um, this is actually a mascara and it was listed as being one of the products that we were going to get lots of packaging this time Oh, I think I got my favorite brush replaced. Oh, okay. Um, this is Lash Step, and this is the mascara that came with it. And it's very luxe. It's very nice mascara. Uh, this is the way that the brush is looking. So it's more of an hourglass kind of brush. And that's definitely a natural blush. or br nat Natural brush. There you go. So that's this. Okay. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas. Okay, these are the Cheeky Rose brushes, and I love these brushes. And um, I, oh, these are fun. So this one is more of the foundation brush because it's wider along here. I have one that's actually a little bit, um, yeah, it's more like that, and so that one I use for bronzer and blush, but this one is definitely going to be made for going ahead and doing your uh, foundation. And these are Cheeky Rose brushes. Um, the other one that I have, I actually have it being cleaned right now, but these are just, they're really nice quality, and they really work really well. And I like the fact that this... Um, that they don't have a really long handle because I don't need that. I'm, I mean, I'm working like this when I'm trying to go ahead and do my face. So I really like the fact that uh, they're really good quality. They're really nice and um, have a, a lot of, they're thick, they're dense, and this handle doesn't go on forever. So for me, this just is a really nice brush and have really liked the ones that I've gotten in the past from them. And then, um, let's see what else I have here. And then the last thing that I have here is a tinted lip balm. So this is what this one looks like. And I don't even know if I can get into it. The color is Smooch. And let's see if I can get into this one. Then we'll do some... 
swatches here. Yeah, this one I can actually get into. So this is the lip balm. I think that's cute. And it's a Lovebird Tinted Lip Balm in Smooch. So, yeah, cute. Okay, so uh, those are what I got in my um, ice cream box this time. And I will, oops, <laughs> thought I could do that subtly. Yeah, that didn't work. So um, I'll go ahead and get some swatches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so back again, and um, let's see. I did, um, I had already picked up the Jingle, Jingle Bell Ruby by, um, by Dee Dee's Signature, and so this Dee Dee's Signature has her own website. I know they were on Etsy at one point, but, um, but I know that if you just look at D D D E D E signature. Um, you can definitely go ahead and find. Ah, there we go. Um, oh no, that's the wrong one. Okay, so it's this one. So uh, this is Jingle Bell Ruby, and it's really pretty. It's going to be half burgundy, half green palette, and um, I've had this one. The quality is great and it's really really pretty so I would definitely go ahead and recommend this palette and like I said um, with the ice cream box this time we had a choice of two so you could get Jingle Bell Ruby or you could get the Classic Autumn and I got the Classic Autumn because I had Jingle Bell Ruby and I know that I love the Dee Dee Signature formula so uh, this is yeah so this is Signature Autumn, and the reds in here are absolutely gorgeous. I think probably going ahead and putting the uh, sparkly black and the sparkly silver together will be a beautiful look. The fact that there is, um, it's called Mushroom, but basically it's a shimmery black, and that will make all sorts of fun looks for the holiday. And um, going ahead and doing the oranges and the reds together will be another gorgeous look. So, yeah, 